here's a little tip. Sometimes it's hard to trace out the PC boards after what part you're looking at. So what I do is I get a fine pin light that puts a very small light out and I use to illuminate the bottom of the PC board while looking through the on the top. And that in this case I've identified right here is a spot directly underneath that cap. So after doing that, I just hold my hand steady and I can see where I am, where the light's hitting, and I know I'm in the right spot. Well, so far, so good. I just turned it on a minute ago after replacing two of those caps. Neither one of them tested bad. One of them tested, I'm not going to say bad, but ever so slightly the eye didn't fully open compared to a brand new cap. Now, I would be surprised that that would be enough to cause the problem, but then again, the proof will be in the pudding. I turned the TV on just a minute ago. There's absolutely no hint of jumpiness. If I remember right, the last time I used it before the cap change, the jumpiness did happen fairly quickly. So I'm going to leave this on for a few minutes and just keep observing right in this area here, which is where you noticed it. Maybe uh, maybe one of those caps was just on, I mean, like I said, it was subtle. So I guess I shouldn't have expected to see the cap test or so something dramatic. But hopefully this is good. I'm still, there was no jumpiness on the top. And there's no jumpiness on the bottom. It's looking pretty good so far. I did end up replacing the two caps, the 0039 and a .033. I think the 0039 tested pretty much perfect. The .033 had a slight, not quite fully opening of the eye. Just a hair not opening fully on the tester. Um, again, I don't know if that, that doesn't seem like that would do it. I can't believe it's that sensitive. But I don't know. I'm just going to leave it on here. But as you can see, it's still holding solid. There's absolutely no hint of that weirdness that was happening right in here. So I'm just going to uh, let it run for a while and see if maybe we got lucky and that was it. It was pretty much a full-on pain in the rear to pull that those caps out of the one on its side. There was also a um, 039 that was a uh, precision cap. I believe it was the one that coupled the sync pulse to the vertical, um, the vertical oscillator, and uh, I didn't have an 039 to replace it. I really didn't want to put the old one back in after pulling it out, but I pulled it out. It tested absolutely perfect, so I said, "Well, what the heck? Let's put this thing back in." And it literally looks like a piece of clear plastic, but you can actually see the foil wrapping. So I was really nervous about. The stress that I had to put through it just to get it out, you know, heating it up to take it out and blah blah blah. But not having a replacement, the plan was if it was bad, I was just going to leave the set apart until I could order some replacements. I was kind of hoping I would find it bad to tell you the truth, but since it checked out, I just couldn't justify keeping the TV all pulled apart waiting for a replacement order to come in. There was also a .056. Which I think was the coupling cap that came from the plate of the tr uh, came from the plate to the um, grid of the multi vibrator. They had the single one that goes between the uh, two tubes, not the feedback from the uh, plate that's on the output side. Anyway, that 056, it was easy to get at. I pulled it. It tested absolutely perfect. I didn't have an 056 to replace it with, so it also went back in. It's fairly easy to get at if something ever goes wrong. It wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a big deal to replace that one. So far, so good. I mean, it's rock solid. Geez, I hope that was it. Anyway, I'm going to show you the ones that were replaced. Get my light out here. I'll try to illuminate it. Okay, right over there, 
you just see a little shiny cap by that tube. That one right there was replaced. And the other little shiny cap was that one right there in the front. That's a 392, which is a 3900 picofarad, which is the same as a .0039 UF cap. And that other one there is a um, .033. Uh, both of them were higher voltage than the original. I mean, the, the 0039 was a 200 volt. I've got an 800 volt in there. The 0033 was a um, 600 volt. I have a 1,000 volt in there. That that one right, as you can see, that, that one's kind of centered in the picture there. Sorry for my shakiness. That was the 056. That one tested perfectly fine. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's kind of like a little, I'm probably getting jolted. Yeah, that silver looking one back there. That's the 039 that I pulled, tested, and checked okay. Uh, not much else action going on. You can see the overall set's pretty clean. There, I don't know if I went over it before. That was a replacement cap. That's the boost filter cap. That's a 049 cap that's on the uh, part of the B plus, I guess. You know, the, in addition to electrolytics filtering the B plus, you also use film caps to get some of the higher frequency stuff out. Uh, what's going? Let's go on here. There's a little replacement cap that yellow. I think that was something I replaced. It was it used to be a disc cap. Placed it. It was part of the green. The green wasn't working good. I replaced it because I already pulled out the green disc cap. Thinking the, the disc cap thing that might have been a problem. It wasn't, but say I already had it out. I replaced it anyway. Anyway, I think we're might be good to go. Let's take another quick look and see if it's gotten if it's still holding there good and strong. Yeah. Again, absolutely no mess whatsoever down here. I don't see any jittering, no jumping whatsoever. I think we might be able to call uh, call this one a uh, good old Foxtrot India X-ray on it. Hope so. Anyway, there you go. Good. I'm not going to sit here and burn the uh, the view. On, on the, I'm not going to use up all the minutes here just waiting for it to go bad. So I'll just leave it on to see how it looks. And see if it stays solid for an hour, I can say it's it's done. Anyway, thankfully, I really like this set, so I'm glad that wasn't a big deal. Thanks again for watching.